This artist I'm about to bring in, she was nominated for the Stellas for Artist of the Year, Song of the Year, the Albertina Walker Female Vocalist of the Year, the Producer of the Year, Contemporary Female Vocalist of the Year, Contemporary CD of the Year, Music Video of the Year, and she's also nominated for a Grammy. She is the one and only Corinne Hawthorne. Good morning, Corinne. Good morning. Good morning, young lady. I am so happy that you decided to come on. Of course. Of course I had to stop by. I'm really excited. Hey, I just want to go over this CD. The CD is hot. It's ridiculous. We all enjoyed Won't He Do It because we all need a Won't He Do It. So tell us a little bit about that song. Where did that one come from? Um, so I actually did this record for Greenleaf, the TV show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. I don't know if you're familiar with that. But, Please. um... <laughs> Yeah, okay, all right, I just had to make sure, because you never know. But I um, got the opportunity um, to be a part of the soundtrack, and um, they played me this record, and I honestly just thought that it was going to be for the show, for the episode. I didn't think about the song going past it, um, and then it became my single, and then it blew up and became my life, and now I'm forever going to be Miss Won't We Do It. So it's crazy how, um, how God comes in and just... Um, completely changes the plans that you have for your life because that we had already recorded my EP. That song wasn't even on the EP, you know? So, um, but I think it's so crazy how much that song related to my life. Um, it just was so crazy. I was in the studio and I was like, you know what? I didn't write this record. Shout out to Makiba because she wrote this record and I never ever wanted for something to be like a cover to me, you know, especially if I'm putting it out, I want for it to feel like it's mine because if I don't feel it, then y'all not going to feel it. So I look back over my life, over the things that God had done for me, and um, it became so real in that moment in the studio. And I honestly think that that's what happened. Like, people just, just relate to it because it was honestly authentic. Like, I didn't I, – I really was praising God in there, you know, and I feel like people felt that. So it's just crazy to see the success of that record, and God is good. I'll say this about Won't He Do It. This is what I know um, an artist is really feeling with their singing. The way you said, won't he do it? You said it with swag on it. It's like, you know, you <laughs> you, you, just, yeah. you just bring the won't he do it. It's not only a catchy phrase, because we all go through the catchy phrases. I can tell you it really hit home with you, and it really hit home with us, because we need that. We need the because right. black folk, we need the hip-hop feel and the pop feel along with the godly lyrics, because that's just a part of us. And a lot of people don't understand that. It's like that, that beat, that feel, is, is a part of us. And that's why I appreciate you, because you're keeping it real. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Amen. I have to keep it real. Can't be nothing <laughs> less than real, you know? <laughs> hey, look. Okay. Don't get offended when I say this, but I have dubbed you Baby Beyonce, because you sound so much like, I'm not lying to you. I, I don't mean like you impersonating Beyonce. I'm telling you, you're vocal. Right. I I'm mean. Mad. I get that a lot. Okay, great. I'm so <laughs> baby B right there. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it for sure. Nah, um, I'm really digging your vocals. One of my favorite songs on the album is "Bless Up." Let me tell you something. That song, that's a game changer right there because it's it's talking about you know us like you know us like our our love affair between the love of God and, and the love of it could be a person as well because the gospel is a love story. So tell right. me, uh, what, where did that song come from with you? Um, I remember being in the studio with amazing writer and producer, their brothers, Troy and Jonte, Troy Taylor, Jonte Austin. And um, when I wasn't even in Atlanta for, like, just that week. I wasn't over there to record records or anything. Um, but I actually was doing it for another TV show. And we had extra time, and they were like, let's make a record. And then we made Bless Up. So I don't know. I think Mom. it was just the vibe. Um, they are so vibey. I love them. That's actually one of my favorites on the album, too. Um, and it's just a vibey record. And, you know, the fact that we spent it the way that we did as far as just it being a love song. And, honestly, I love the fact that it could be played on mainstream and you wouldn't even know. Stuff like that. I love stuff like that. And people, yeah. Some people don't get hey, down with that. They need it to be black and white, but I don't like because I personally feel like I want to make music for everybody to where a normal person who doesn't go to church every day can listen to my stuff and say, 
You know what? This I can get down with this because if you can get down with that love, then you can get down with Jesus. It's easy, you know. So I'm I'm yeah. just thankful for um just people in the industry like them that um kind of have the same vibe. But it was a, a very unique record. I love it. Hey, Amen. I'm feeling that too. Um, another great song on the album, I think that can also be played, uh, you know, either way, is Warriors. Warriors right. ain't no joke. <laughs> no, it, it, I, I, I go in my, when I, hit, when I listen to that, I, I'm in my, uh, my video mode. I, I can imagine I can do all things through Christ in that joint right there. <laughs> I, I open my show with that song. If I go and do a show, that is my show opener. And let me tell you, it is no joke. I will bust out and listen. Let me tell you, it can live anywhere, but that's my preaching song because I will get down on it. Okay, I love that record. Um, it's amazing. You know what? So many good songs on this album. <laughs> so many good <laughs> records on this album. It's crazy. But yes, I love that record. Yeah, it's Corinne. I'm telling you, this CD. It's so relevant. It is so today. It is for the kids and for the adults. That's why I love it. I mean, look at Unstoppable. I mean, that's another one to me. Played either way. You know what day and time we're living in. That's what it represents, that God got my back. And your lyrics are so laced with kingdom talk. And I'll just be like, this girl ain't no joke. So, uh, so what about Unstoppable, who you got with my main man, Crazy? Crazy is lit, and I think that because, um, like you said, my... I do a lot of songs that are super, like, vibey and hit, and I think we're always looking for, like, a perfect rapper to be featured on something. And um, I think that Lecrae was just a given. You know, um, I was super happy when they told me that he loved the record. And when I got his verse back, I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is super lit. Because I'm not into corny rappers. You feel me? Lecrae not corny. And I can get down. Yeah, he's not. You know? Yeah. So, um, so I, I, I'm, very, I'm a very harsh critic. I am. I'm harsh on stuff like that. So um, I was just super excited that he killed it the way that he did. And we just performed it live for the first time this past weekend um, at Super Bowl Gospel Celebration. So um, if y'all haven't seen that, y'all can go and check that out. But um, it's super lit, like his vibe. I love performing it with him. He's amazing. But um, it's such a vibe. I want all my listeners to go out and purchase this album. This, this album really is, a, to me, a difference maker. It really is. It, it's, it's just something, something new and hot. And I'm just sitting here going, wow. How did you do this? I'm looking at your past. There's something on American Idol. You also were on The Voice. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, you know, I, I auditioned for American Idol. Um, actually didn't make it. Um, went on to audition for The Voice and made it all the way to the finals. So um, this is this just is kind of like a testament of how long I've been actually doing this since I was a kid. This has always been my dream. Um, but just going through stuff like that honestly prepared me for where I am now, and I always say that, um, you know, God is so good that he, he orders your steps, and he truly does just have a plan for your life. Um, Jeremiah 29 and 11 is my favorite scripture, and it's just because he has done that and more for me, and um, I don't know, man, it's just so crazy, the things that happened in these past few years. Um, I'm just super honored and, and grateful. Amen. Yeah, well, I want you to know that we're grateful too because this, what you're doing, is is it's awesome. And uh, yeah, and I seen you on Greenleaf, uh, <laughs> busting up relationships. But it's, listen, don't do me, man. I was acting. I was playing my role. I know. I was just acting, acting. <laughs> oh man, that's that's hilarious. I am I am so excited about you know. Uh, your nominations for the for the uh, the Stellars and also for the Grammy. I am. Um, I, I hope you know you guys win every category, and I hope all the best for you because I I think that um, you're needed in this day and hour. Your music is needed, and your presence is needed because um, little you. girls gonna look up to you um, all around. You know, so um, yeah. I'm thankful for you, and uh, thank you for uh, coming on the show. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Corinne, you the bomb, young lady. Hey, much love Thank to you. you. God bless you. Enjoy the rest Thank of your day. Okay. Nice Thank meeting you. you. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Corinne Hawthorne, and I am here rocking with Brother D and Sister A on Praise the Louis.